Good morning, my dudes, and welcome, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Evan, and I knit things. Today, I have for you podcast episode number 24. On this week's podcast, I don't have any finished objects. I have some whip progress on four whips and a lot of setbacks and maybe some issues and one acquisition kind of that I'll talk to you about with the whip that it goes with. Um, and then we'll have some book chat and maybe some getting ready for Ireland chat. So with all that being said, Let's hop right into whips, shall we? The first whip I want to talk to you about is the one with the least problems. So that is going to be, um, let me turn to the page of my journal here. I have it over here. This is my The Dress test knit for Holly Knits. Um, I showed you guys the swatch last week. This is the wrong project bag. This is the right project bag. Um, I showed you guys the swatch last week and I hadn't cast on. No, I had cast on. I had cast on. I had a little bit on there. Um, that's right. So here is how much I had. I had that little bit of the back panel started. Um, my goal for this this week was to finish the back panel, which is finished. We faded into the second color here. It looks really nice. Um, so we're in the second color here. Um, you knit the back panel flat, and then you pick up and knit for the left front panel which we've got there, which is very difficult for you to see because it's on the same cord. But there's the front left panel, or the front, the front left panel. And then we've got the front right panel here. Um, so I'm almost finished with the front right panel. Uh, and then we will join the front left and front right panels together and that will be the neck hole there um, and then I'll have a chunk of the whole front panel to finish before joining in the round. Um, I had wanted to get to the joining in the round before Ireland because I want to have this be my travel project and I think we can probably make that work. I mean I have some knitting left, but not like a super ton. So I think we can accomplish that. I will move my marker to the front left panel here, or right panel, whatever. Uh, this panel here, the front right panel, anatomically the right panel. Um, I'm knitting this in a bunch of yarn for my collection that goes together well. It's a merino nylon blend. All of them are. Um, and some of them are Ella Ray lace merino. Um, so that's that. This is what I've been working on during school with the kids because I don't really have to pay a ton of attention to it. It's just stock in that flat. It's pretty easy. So that's what we've been working on this week during school time. Um, this test knit is due at the beginning of January, and I cast this on on September 20th. So we're making good progress. Um, this is a completely made-to-measure pattern, so you measure your body at various places. You add in however much ease you want in those places, and then a spreadsheet tells you um, how many stitches to cast on, how long to work, based on your specific gauge. So you can use any yarn weight, you can be any size, and it's really awesome. So 
this is going to be fantastic. And I'm excited about it. I know I don't seem excited. I'm getting over a cold. I really don't feel very good. And um, I, I just have a lot on my mind right now. There's so much to do before Ireland and I'm starting to panic a little. So that's the first whip update. That made quite a thunk. Okay. Second whip update. We'll go with the one that has semi the least issues. <laughs> okay. This is my book club cardigan. This is a pattern by Sari Nordland. Um, I cast this on. I don't know, because I didn't write it down. Um, I am using the yarn um, Cory Confetti from La Bien Ami, and it's in the colorway Graybow. Um, so last week I had just joined all the panels together. Let's find my marker here. And I had wanted to, here's the marker, and I had wanted to get to the pocket placement, which is supposed to be right here. But um, this cardigan, according to the pattern, is supposed to be kind of cropped. And I don't want it to be cropped. So I knit to the end of this little um, diamond here, or almost to the end of the diamond, and I was going to put um, my pocket here. But it was looking really small on the needles, so I blocked the body here. I blocked it. Um, and it fits nice. It's great. But now I'm, I'm like, I don't know where to put the pockets and, uh, I'm kind of stressing out about it because I don't want them to be too low. Um, but the way the pocket is constructed is you, um, get to the point where you're going to knit the pocket. You like knit the whole rest of the row regular and then like just on this, diamond pattern here like just on this 12 or 18 stitches right here you knit in a piece of scrap yarn and then you work eight rows of ribbing and then you continue with the pattern but you're continuing that pattern on the rest of the sweater so you're just like skipping the the bit of the diamond pattern here um and I kind of really hate the way that looks. So now I'm debating on coming up with a different pattern or pocket idea or leaving off the pockets altogether or I, I can't tell if I'm just being a little crazy about it for no reason and I need to just quit and do what the pattern says. Um, so I don't, I don't know, I lost two days of knitting on this while waiting for it to dry while it was blocking. So now I'm just really paranoid and I really don't think I can finish it in time for Ireland. But last night, once it was dry, I did pick up the first sleeve and I started knitting the sleeve. Um, I'm supposed to do, like there's the center of the sleeve there. Is that the center? Yes, that's the center of the sleeve. Um, I'm supposed to do six decrease repeats, um, and I've done one. So, I don't know. I can't decide what to do about this. Thoughts, ideas, leave them in the comments. 
Um, I will probably continue with the sleeves for now since I can't make a decision about the pockets. I'm like having serious decision paralysis this week and this is just one more decision that I just can't, I just can't make right now. <laughs> um, so I, I really don't know if this is going to get done in time for Ireland and I'm just going to have to be okay with that. I'm not okay with it. I'm, I'm not okay with it, but um, it's been a week and it's been a week of kind of everything going wrong in knitting. So I hate this saying so much, but it is what it is. And we're just gonna have to let it go. Like I can try to finish it and if it doesn't work, then I'll just have to survive. So that's whip update number two. Whip update number three. Um, both of these are a disaster, so I'll just pick one. Okay, I picked this one. This is the one that there's an acquisition to go with too. Okay, so this is the Choice is Yours Cowl by Flynn Knit. Um, and I showed you guys last week that I had finished the first half that says vote and then I needed to do the Kamala 24 half and I was waiting on a skein of purple yarn, this skein of purple yarn. This is the Knit Picks Oceana. It's a worsted weight, um, 136 yards per 50 grams. It's a 54% alpaca, 46% sequal. Um, which I've talked about, I feel like, ad nauseum at this point. Um, but I'm an affiliate. If you want to check this out, link in bio. Or in the description box. Well, I started last night. This just came yesterday. I started last night uh, the Kamala bit where this was the background color and this was the word color and look those look like they go so nicely like they have really great contrast right wrong words were completely illegible so we had to pivot and I ripped out the entire thing and this is where we are now we've done one chart repeat with the dark purple which is octopi and the blue which is swordfish for the bottom half and then the top half of the cowl will be these two with this one which is tigerfish and this one which is sea lettuce this one will be the words this one will be the background and that should work better but I basically had to restart this entire project and I am not happy about it. Here, let's see if I can get the... No, you just can't. It's too scrunched up there. That's probably the best we're going to get. So, restarted this. It's a relatively quick knit because it is worsted weight. And it's on size 8 needles. Um, but... I'm just irritated that I had to start it over instead of being half done. But I really want you to be able to read it. So, again, a thing I'd like to have done for Ireland, but I definitely don't think I can have this and the book club done. I don't think I can have both. So, I'm going to have to choose, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that's the third whip update and acquisition. Final whip update, the biggest disaster of them all. This is the Teddy Half Zip by Kristen Zimmel. Um, wow, there's like 900 needles on here right now. Okay, so... You guys have seen major excitement for me about this project the whole time I've been knitting it, right? Well, I 
I was here. And I said when I got to the end of the next balls of yarn, I wanted to do the zipper or a sleeve. Well, I, I didn't do the zipper. Um, let me move that for you. Here. There. Um, but I did both the sleeves. And I tried it on. And um, I was trusting the sizing. Um, but here's the thing. When I signed up for this test knit, um, it didn't say the recommended ease or the um, finished garment size. It just said like 40 inch bust. So I signed up for the 40 inch bust because I have a 39 to 40 inch bust. And then we got the pattern and it's supposed to have 10 to 13 inches of positive ease. Now, do I own anything with that much positive ease? Have I ever knit anything with that much positive ease? So I was like, you know, um, I'm wary, but I'll try it. Maybe, maybe I'll love it. Maybe it'll be the perfect oversized, floofy, squishy thing. I tried it on. I hate it. I hate how it fits. I feel like I'm drowning in it. The sleeves, like if just the body were that oversized and the sleeves were more fitted, I don't think I'd hate it so much, but the sleeves, literally I could fit my thigh in there and I got big thighs. Um, and like I know this was an intentional choice by the designer and that's fine, um, but this much ease is not for me. Now unfortunately, there is no room in this test for me to change the size I'm knitting. And I committed to making this for Kristen. So I'm kind of just stuck with finishing it at this point. And then I will probably finish it, take some pictures, fill out the tester form, and rip the whole thing apart. And then sometime in the future when I'm not mad at it, I will knit one three sizes smaller. Or it will probably fit my husband. Although I'd have to make the sleeves a lot longer because he's tall and I am short and I have short arms and he has long arms. Um, so before I knew that I hated it, I knit this sleeve and I, I shortened the cuff. The cuff is supposed to be four inches. I shortened it to two inches because the sleeve is gonna be too long. But then I tried it on before picking up the other sleeve. And then I was like, well, I might as well just knit it exactly to pattern if I'm not planning on keeping this. So I knit this one to four. Um, so now I have to do something about one of these, but I don't know which one. Um, and I still have the body to finish and the zipper to do. Now I am still hoping there's a small amount of hope in me that I finish this thing and I get the edging on the bottom done and I put it on and I don't hate it. I'm really hoping that that happens. I really, 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 really am. But I'm not really anticipating that being what happens. So, okay, I just yammered on about that for forever. Um, some pattern details. Um, like I said, this is a test knit. It is due November 3rd. I'm making the size large. Um, and yarn for this is Hobie's Amigo, which is a DK weight 100% acrylic. And Curly, I apparently don't have one attached to the project right now. I don't have any attached to the project. Uh, the Curly is a sport weight like boucle type deal, focus. Um, it's like a sport weight boucle and it's a polyester blend as well. So this is the colorway dark blue melange and this is the colorway gray. Um, this feels great. I just wish it were smaller. So that's where we are on this. This is probably on hold until I get back from Ireland. 
Um, but yeah, that's that. So let's chat. about Ireland stuff for a minute here. So today for me is Friday, September 27th. Um, my husband and I leave for Ireland on October 5th. So that's in eight days. In eight days, I would like to finish a color work cowl, finish, I would say, well over half of a cabled sweater Pack for a 11 to 12 day trip to Europe for myself and my husband. Pack my children to stay with my mother for that whole amount of time. Clean my house because my father-in-law is house and dog sitting. Uh, write instructions for him for the dog because of course I can't have an uncomplicated dog. No, I have a dog that requires both allergy and anxiety medication every day. Um, instructions for my mother because of course my children also can't be uncomplicated. They have allergy medicine and eczema cream and foot cream because my autistic son cannot handle dry skin on his feet or he will freak out. So he, he needs lotion on them every day or he'll freak out. Uh, one of them has trouble sleeping so he takes um, melatonin at night to help him sleep. And I am just so overwhelmed <laughs> with the number of things that I need to do before we go that I honestly like don't even want to knit anymore right now because I I can't I am in a serious um, state of ADHD overwhelm and I can't handle it and I don't know what to do about it um, so uh, my brain says the thing to do is to ignore all of the projects that I have happening right now and to cast on something else and work on that instead. Purely as a, a dopamine hit. I, mm, but that also just overwhelms me more. So, there's a little peek into my psyche right now. Let's move on. Let's talk about, what am I wearing? Okay, now, this is the Acadia Tank, also by Kristen Zimmel. I also test knit this for her, and guess what? It came out this past week. Yay, congratulations, Kristen. I hope it's doing really well. Um, this tank, is super wearable, is super cute, comes in a variety of sizes, has got nice thick straps so you can wear a bra with it. Not even like a cute bra, you can wear your granny bra with it. Um, I mean, or no bra, which is like the best way to go in my opinion. Um, this yarn is a merino nylon blend. And I could not have knit this beautifulness without my cordsmith from... Um, Autumn over at the Size Inclusive Collective, all of the edging here, here, down both sides of the button band. I would have given up on that much I-cord. Buttons are from Knit Picks. They're their little coconut buttons, and they, they match perfectly. Um, it's got a cute little ruffle detail at the hem. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. Um... But you should definitely go check out the Acadia tank if you haven't already. Um, you can knit it in something like wool, and it can be a great layering piece. I've got my flannel with it. You can knit it in something like a cotton or an acrylic or maybe a silk, and 
it can be great for super hot weather. Although I wore this one day when it was like 85 to 90 degrees and I wasn't too hot in it. Um, I thought it was great. Uh, this is, it's got a great fit for curvy girls. There's some waist shaping, but like it's still plenty flexible. Um, I love this tank. It's really great. It's got like a similar scoop in the back, but not as low. And I really like it. I've worn it quite a few times since I finished it. And I will be wearing it a lot more. Also, I'm wearing these beautiful flamingo earrings from Twin Mountain Handcrafts. Um, if you have not checked out Twin Mountain Handcrafts, they're usually my go-to for buttons, but when I needed these, they were on vacation. They took time off over the summer for vacation, and I couldn't wait. So, I'm also wearing my favorite lipstick combo, or my my favorite regular lipstick combo because my two favorites one is black and one is like a, a mint green so this is my favorite regular lipstick combo it's like a brick red from Kat Von D and then it's a gloss on top from Colourpop the Twilight collection obviously um, so that's what I'm wearing I believe this flannel is from Torrid got the claw clip from Amazon. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, goals. I don't think I'm going to set myself any goals this week. Um, I'm going to get done what I can get done. Um, my only goal this week will be to attempt to film a video for next weekend for you guys. Um, I don't know if that'll happen or not. I'd like to have a video for you for next Saturday, but I, if I don't film it during the week and then set it to post on Saturday, then I don't think there's any way that I will have the fortitude or brain power to film a video on Friday and upload it on Saturday when I'm leaving the following day. I don't, I don't think I can handle that. So, let's talk books. That's the least stressful thing here. For me right now, even though I've gotten basically no book reading done this week. Um, it's been so busy. I've had so much going on. My knits have been rebelling against me. So I have not gotten much reading done this week. Um, I only finished two books this week. And if you've been following along, you know that's not many for me at all. Um, so I did finish The Dangerous Gift, which was Wings of Fire, book 14 by 2E.T. Sutherland. Um, I finished that one, and it was four stars. And then... Um, Last night I finished The Flames of Hope, which is Wings of Fire 15 by 2E.T. Sutherland. That was the last book in the series currently. Um, and I was so excited. I thought I was done with this series. Wrong. Um, but that one was four stars. It, like, the whole build-up was great, but then the ending I thought was really anticlimactic. And I got a little bored. Um, but apparently my son insists that I must read the, um, the four winglets, which are four little short stories, so, not done yet. <laughs> so, currently reading, I'm reading The Winglet Quartet by 2E.T. Sutherland. It's the four little short stories. I finished the first short story this morning. I'm reading The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore. Um, this one, honestly, nothing's really happened yet. I, I'm like 40% in and nothing's happened. Like, this is supposed to be like a, a kind of um, light mystery romance, cozy fall vibes. 
Um, and we definitely got the cozy fall vibes, but uh, I'm, I'm missing some story at this point. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, also reading Black Clover 21. I've read two chapters of this this week. Low on time. And I am still slogging through Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what else to say about that. It, it's a slog right now. Uh, my husband and I are still reading Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. We haven't picked that up at all. And we are still reading the tandem read of Empire of Storms and Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Um, we are 82% through Empire of Storms and 81% through Tower of Dawn right now. Uh, I said our goal should be to finish it before Ireland, but I don't know that that's going to happen. Um, I've been sick, now my husband's sick, so there's been no evening reading time like the kids usually go to bed and then he and I will listen to books together for 45 minutes before we go to bed but one of us has gone to bed early every day this week um, I went to bed at six a couple nights ago so that's how it's been maybe I will feel less awful about everything when I'm feeling better but that time is not right now. So we're going to do the best we can do, Foy Coco and I. And yeah, I mean, I did get my septum pierced. I think it looks really great. I love it. Um, I mean, split ring is not my super favorite, but I also didn't want like a giant hoop while it's healing. So when it heals, we'll change it to a sparkly little gold hoop. Um, but this has been like the easiest piercing for me to deal with in quite a while. No complaints. I mean, I have, I have a lot if you haven't seen them. Some of them are hiding, but yeah. Although like it's hard dealing with the sensation that something's touching my nose when it's like just almost touching my nose, but whatever. Okay. So, thanks for stopping by and listening to my rants about disaster befalling my knitting. Um, like, comment, subscribe. We are on a journey to 500 subscribers. Uh, we are at 128 as of filming, so... Thank you for you new subscribers. I'm really grateful that you're here. And previously subscribed subscribers, we wouldn't be here at all without you. So you're the OGs. Hit that notification bell to be notified of my next upload since I don't know when the next one will be. Hopefully next Saturday. But um, you never know. You never know. It depends on whether I can get my anxiety and overwhelm under control. So, go follow me over on Instagram for updates on what I'm up to day to day. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye!